Project Workbench. Hey guys, this is Matt Munson here for the Project Workbench. This video is all about what's going on in my workshop right now. And there's the Project Workbench itself, quite a mess. This is the latex version of the outer shell for the cape. And what I'm doing here is spraying it with this 303 stuff, aerospace protectant, to test it for UV protection. This is a version of the chest emblem I did, but I used a, a urethane that was way too soft. This is a 20 shore hardness. And as you can see, it's more like a gummy bear than a chest emblem. Not good. One of the things I struggle with most is getting the color right for the outer shell of the cape. And here I'm mixing up a bunch of different samples. And this one here, I think, is what I'm gonna end up with. And this is just a small collection of the overall trials. Here's where I'm testing whether the pigments change after they cure, which they do, by the way. And here's the old cape mold with a bunch of tests going on in the right-hand corner. I'm testing using a Silpat product named RU420, which is a great flexible urethane rubber. And what you're looking at is a bunch of different combinations of cabosyl thicknesses and thickness in application. There's urethane bleed through on this one, so that mixes out. These two both came out really good. This is light cabosyl and both a heavy and a light application of the stuff. No bleed through, the fabric sticking down really well. And over next to it is heavy cabosyl, so it's a much more thicker, a pasty formula. But unfortunately, it wasn't sticking as well. You can see the edges are kind of lifting up. So that's the kind of experiments I do. And uh, this is the way I learn what the best way to apply the stuff is. Please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I've got a great video of my Superman Returns belt and my chest emblem if you're curious about how other parts of the costume are made.